Hey guys, so welcome back. Today we're gonna be recreating Selena Gomez's everyday makeup routine. So I came across her routine on Sephora's Instagram. She did like an IGTV and I was like, let me recreate this because the look was so minimal and effortless and so beautiful. And I was like, okay, you cannot go wrong with like simple glowy skin and a bold lip. It's like one of my favorite looks to do anyway, but her technique is so different than how I do my makeup. So I thought it would be like a nice change because you guys know I'm super heavy handed. I wear a lot of makeup. It's just what I like and I feel like of course we all have our preferences with how we do our makeup so I wanted to try out her technique because I feel like it's super easy to follow along to and of course she's using her products from her line Rare Beauty which I already own and I love I did get a couple of like new colors like I got a different color of the lip souffle and a new cream blush color so I could be like as similar to her look as possible but I have a lot of favorites from this brand I'm actually a big fan so you guys will hear about it very soon in my upcoming favorites video but yeah the look was simple and she only used also used like two brushes which I thought was really impressive so I'm have a white t-shirt on like she did in her video and we're in natural light today I'm just filming in front of my window so you guys could see the products and how they look on the skin and I also did do my brows already because her brows are just like effortlessly flawless mine aren't so we got to improvise so I did those off camera I also did put on some natural false lashes just because my lashes are non-existent the look today is really all about the complexion and the lips though she didn't touch on eyes or anything so yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video we're just gonna jump into it so grab a snack make sure you subscribe to my channel if you have not already and let's get into it. I just have on moisturizer and SPF that I put on like actually a few hours ago, but it's extra glowy because I use a lot of SPF. You can never use too much SPF. Like the more, the merrier. So let's pull up her video. She is like so beautiful like naturally it's like actually insane and she seems super down to earth and really sweet in this video I mean in general but especially in this video I feel like she's just very relatable okay so this is my regular routine my everyday routine primer first primer. doesn't make my makeup feel like cakey or powdery okay, so she is using of course all of the rare beauty products the illuminating primer which i actually really like i just have the mini version because when i got this i wasn't sure if i was gonna like it so i don't know how much she used i'm gonna do about one pump which is like that much and she applied it with a brush which is interesting because i never apply my primer with a brush i usually just massage it in with my fingers but we're gonna do what she did and i'm gonna use a liquid touch foundation brush I actually really love this brush. I feel like it's a good universal brush that you could use for concealer, for cream bronzer, for foundation. It's really nice. And this primer is super cooling on the skin. It's really hydrating. It's not like an overkill though, like it doesn't feel heavy under makeup, but it definitely will give you like that natural kind of glow from within, which I'm all about. Like it just makes your skin look super healthy. And I wasn't too crazy about this brush at first, but now like the more that I've been using it, the more that I actually really do like this brush. I like it more than the concealer brush. So that is the skin. We are glowy and we are ready for foundation. Next, I will do foundation. I like to kind of start with the dots and I kind of like to get into the areas that are really red. What I love about this foundation is that it's super weightless and if Agreed. you want to continue to put more on it will give you more coverage agree okay so i actually really love this foundation and i agree with what she's saying that it's very weightless it feels like nothing on the skin it kind of feels like a bb cream but it has a little bit better coverage than a bb cream it's very natural natural medium coverage i would say it's very hydrating it feels good it's kind of like your skin but better which those are my favorite kinds of products to put on my face the shade range is also amazing 48 shades in both the foundation and concealer which is like incredible so i have a new shade here 230n which i feel like is a good shade for me right now my tan is pretty much faded basically at this point when I tested out the foundation I got the shade 250w which is good if I am tan but right now this is a little too dark for me so I got this color I do recommend shaking this foundation shake it for a couple seconds it's much needed if not it's gonna kind of flake on the skin so shaking it is a must I found so I'm just gonna dot this wherever I feel like I need it I do have a few pimples so I'm just gonna do what she did and she pretty much just kind of dotted it all over but she didn't use a ton I'm gonna do some on my nose as well around my mouth again I'm gonna use that brush and I'm just gonna blend this in So 
But if you have acne, if you have freckles, beauty marks, they're still gonna be peeking through. It's really just going to, I would say more like even out your skin tone, conceal those problem areas maybe a little bit, like if you have pimples and stuff. But again, if you have freckles or anything like that, like I have two beauty marks right here, they're still gonna come through, which I think is really pretty. These products aren't really meant to cover up or like be full coverage. So if that's your vibe, then I would not recommend this brand. Even though I love medium to full coverage, I still like the products because I feel like they do give you some coverage. It's not completely light coverage. It's definitely sort of like Glossier in a way, but better because the coverage is better and I feel like the products are a little bit like smoother, more velvety on the skin, which I mentioned in my review of this brand. I'm gonna kind of really get in there since I don't really have product evenly distributed all over my face. I'm gonna like really blend it in my hairline so it's nice and seamless. So you can still see things peeking through, but I feel like with this brand, that's kind of the point. So that is what it looks like. I feel like you could definitely do more if you wanted to. She didn't. I mean, her face is like so flawless. She doesn't even look like she has anything to cover up. But I think what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna leave it as is because she did like the bare minimum. I'm gonna add concealer and then if needed, I can kind of add some concealer to these areas. All right, next I will do concealer. I always do concealer a little bit lighter. So I kind of just angle it, do a few dots. I'm gonna get into some of my redness and a pimple. Now I'm gonna use my concealer brush. Okay, so I have the concealer in the shade 200C, which I actually really like. Let me do what she did. She did three dots. I normally like stripe the concealer on a little bit around my nose also because I do get some redness there and I'm just gonna take a little bit more and just add that to the pimples, because that's what she did. To blend that out, I'm gonna use the same brush, which is the Liquid Concealer Brush. I don't love this brush. I definitely prefer this one over this one. Like, if you're gonna splurge, I would get this one. I feel like it's a little bit more universal, versatile, versus just this one. So I'm just gonna rub this in. This concealer, I like to refer to this as BB cream for your under eyes because it's also kind of like a BB cream. It doesn't have a ton of coverage. It's like very natural medium coverage, but it still definitely conceals and brightens your under eyes in the most natural way. I think it's a really nice concealer. I like it personally with a sponge. I feel like this brush in particular shears out the product a little bit, which is another reason why it's not my favorite. I like the, the big brush so much better. That one does not do that. I'm gonna just blend it in so I don't have any like streaky lines with the foundation brush because again, I feel like this one's a little bit better. I think this combo is perfect for every single day. It's so healthy looking on the skin, literally your skin, but better. Next, I will do my blush. This so good. This is called Grace. And there is a lot of pigment in this, so a little goes a long way. Hung, my makeup artist, taught me to put blush on more towards the upper cheek I never do because that. Because I tend to do them right here or my blush, which apparently you can do, but this helps kind of, uh, al not alter, sorry, contour your face. And I'm really proud of it because it's super smooth and it kind of just goes on yes. like better. So you can tell that when it comes on, it can be kind of intense. But the best thing is you can just keep rubbing and it will blend in. Thousand percent agree. These cream blushes are probably my favorite out of the entire line. They're so good. So I haven't tried this color. This is brand new. I just picked this up yesterday in Grace because that's what she's using. But I love the shade Bliss. This is a great muted pink. Perfect for every day. It just gives you the most beautiful wash of color. I normally don't use colors like this, but you know what? Today, we're all about experimenting. I also never do my blush up here, but... We're gonna just do that. I'm doing like the tiniest dots because this blush is really pigmented and I don't know how this color is gonna look on my skin tone, but I'm gonna do about that much, which is, trust me, that's enough. These are so good. They blend really seamlessly. Just a really nice like cushiony formula. I'm gonna just use that brush. So yeah, it looks a little crazy, but then once you start blending, it just works. Okay, 
I'm actually shocked that this color actually looks good on my skin. Okay, now I want to try out more colors. Yeah, this is the best product that they have. Like, not even kidding. This is amazing. Next, I'm going to do my highlighter. Because I love shine and I love highlighters. This one is called Mesmerize. And I put two dots right underneath my eye. You could also use your fingertips, which I do a lot. So I don't have the same exact liquid highlighter that she has because, to be honest, this is my least favorite product from Rare Beauty. I just personally don't love liquid highlighters in general. They're just not my favorite. And this one in particular is just so natural that I feel like you could get this effect from just using the foundation and concealer alone. Like, you don't really need this, in my opinion. I mean, we like what we like. For me, this is just not something that I love. So I didn't want to purchase that color that she has because I didn't want to be wasteful because I already have this color. Color and I don't love it so I have the shade enlightened so I'm just gonna use this one today and she just dotted two dots and I'm gonna use my fingertips as well it's pretty like once you start like first like blending it in but then it just becomes so incredibly natural that I feel like it almost just looks like the foundation you know what I mean like because the foundation is very glowy for me, it's just not like a must-have product. It's not a bad product, it's just not for me. What I am obsessed with um, in our line is the Lip Souffle. And this one is called Heroic. And we have beautiful colors, and they just go on so smoothly. So, it has the pointed Just wiping off angle, my lip balm. So you can kind of use it a little liner and each stroke has so much color in it and you don't even I don't even feel like I have anything on so I agree these are so incredibly lightweight they feel like just cushiony and velvety and I'm obsessed I tried one color last week the shade strengthen it was a little patchy, but I still loved the way that it looked regardless. I just kind of had to build it up a little bit. So I decided to get the shade Heroic, which is the color that she used. It looks a little bit more bright on camera, but in person it's a little bit deeper. So these 10 out of 10 would recommend. I loved the formula so much that I bought two other colors as well. So I bought this shade Inspire, which is like the bright classic red, which I feel like you can't go wrong with a good red. And then I also got the shade Brave, which is like a muted kind of orangey brown. So I'm excited for this, for both of these. I feel like for fall, they're perfect. So this is the completed look. I love the way this turned out. It's very different for me, especially like the technique and the amount of product you used, but I actually really like it. If it was up to me and just to make this like a little bit more fitting for what I like. The only two things I would do is add some powder just to set the concealer under my eyes and a little bit on my T-zone and then I would add some bronzer. So the bronzer I feel like honestly I could actually get away without using any bronzer because I love the blush so much. I feel like it's so pretty. It just literally gives you the perfect flush and I'm surprised that I was able to make it work with my skin because I was a little intimidated by the color. That formula I'm telling you guys is so good and now I want to try out more colors so I really love the blush. With the concealer it is creasing under my eyes so I feel like setting for me is a must. Like for sure. It's a really nice concealer though and I feel like when I set it, it just looks a little bit smoother and it doesn't crease as much. And whenever I set my creams, I just feel like they last a little bit longer. So that's just kind of the only thing that I would do. But other than that, I love these products minus the concealer brush and the liquid highlighter. I think these products are definitely worth trying. They're great for every day. They just kind of all work hand in hand together really well. And I love that they're vegan, cruelty free. The shade range is great and I really like this. So I encourage you guys to try out this look. Even if you don't have the Rare Beauty products, I feel like her techniques and like following along is super simple and it's so effortless. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being here. If you guys have any rare beauty favorites that you love, leave them down below in the comments and that is it. I love you guys and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!